For the second half of this year's Downhill World Cup Series, we are in Lusa in Portugal. We've got two races for you, two World Cups from here. The course will be changed actually for Sunday's race, a little bit like they did in Maribor. And yesterday actually, the riders walked it for the first time and they absolutely loved it. I've never seen it before, so let's take a wander down it. Hopefully you're as excited as I am to see what Lusa has in store. I'll ring you back later, mate. All right, bro. Bye, Mum. Right. <laughs> Did you film that? So a lot of this track is really natural. They haven't done a huge amount of work preparing it for this World Cup. And as a result, the soil in a lot of spots is absolutely perfect. That, my friend, is like gold dust. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> Hang on, we've got another phone call. Hello? Hello, sir. Can I speak to uh, Mr. Warner? Speaking. We're just calling on behalf of Sky. How you doing? Oh, I'm all right, mate. You're going to try and sell me a cheap TV package, are you? We're not, no. So this whole top section from the start down to here, it hasn't got that much gradient. It's littered with jumps, they're pretty small. A lot of turns, you've got to be really on it. Carry good speed through them as well with this loose surface. That won't be that easy. And it's still early in practice here. Riders at the moment favouring these berms, trying to carry speed around the turns and along these flattish straights. But, you know, I think these inside lines, and he, he nearly got on it there. I think these inside lines will develop and may even get some berms, which will help the riders carry speed through these tighter lines in these turns. What's hello? Hola. Hola. Lovely. I'm almost fluent in Portuguese. Oh, rider, keep filming, George. Yeah. That was a good night. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is sick, isn't it? Well, they come off this big bridge here at the end of the top section, really, and come into this fast, open straight with these jumps on. You can see the windsock there as well. Now, these jumps actually aren't that big. And I think that the riders are probably going to have a real battle to catch the backside, made even more difficult if there is a crosswind. It's a mixture like super scary and really fun. What's scary about it? It goes super fast. Yeah, you'll be all right. And how are you feeling after your crash in Maribor? Because it was a big one, but you're, you're all all right? Yeah, well, good. I was a bit sad about that. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just glad you got up from it. it yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks, Millie. Sorry, let me just get my pole out of your way. Back to uh, normal size. It's So that whole top section, really important. Carry speed, it's not that steep, but everything changes on this corner. This is the main part of the track now below us. We're still not halfway down, and all of a sudden, things get technical and they get steep. What are your tactics for the weekend? So go for the title, I guess, huh? Oh, yeah. Full gas? <laughs> of course, I'm leader, so yeah, I go for the title, but I will take race by race. Yeah and see after for the overall. Yeah, it's going to be an intense few days again. Yeah, sure. I think it will be pretty intense again. Yeah. Bon chance, Marine. Thank you. Merci. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, it had to be him. Thibaut de Prella, I mean, it's been an incredible debut for you in the elite ranks. You must be happy with how things are going. Yeah, I'm so stoked. It's amazing. It's a good start for our first stage here. The track here looks amazing. It's fast. It's just the first run, but I think it's going to be a good race. So a lot of the riders decided to stop here. They've done the top section, it gets steeper. And this is also the first split in the track. Friday that way, Sunday, excuse me, Nina, this part of the track's shut. Can you get back to the other side of the tape, please? And then this side is for Sunday. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well done, Nina, that was great. <laughs> that was funny. This 
open section here really is the middle of the track and it's absolutely spectacular. Steep, loads of natural compressions, lots of different lines, different soil types. You can see why the riders are absolutely loving it. If you want to go faster here, all you've got to do is just get off the brakes. It's mint. Mint, isn't it? Which sections are going to make the difference? I guess this big one here, or? Oh, it's hard to say because it's uh, there's just so much of uh, so many sections in one track, and it's pretty long too. So yeah. I think it's going to be physical as well. So yeah. just putting it all together. We're going to be finding out who enjoyed their summer off a little too much. I'd say <laughs> we here. definitely will. Yeah. <laughs> it's the UK Brat Pack. How are you, lads? All right. Yeah, yeah mate, we're good. We're chilling. Off. How's the track, Kate? How's the track? Tip top, mate. Lovely. Is it? It's a bit rough, but yeah. It's gonna get rougher. It's gonna get rougher, yeah, for sure. So physical, man. Is it really? Yeah, I thought Mario Ball was like quite physical, and this yeah. one's just double the amount. Yeah, I reckon. And there's a big old pedal at the bottom, isn't there? Yeah, massive pedal, man. Have you been massive training hard all summer, Kate? Yeah, man, training me arsehole. <laughs> I hate <laughs> training. You know, you know what we've been doing. <laughs> It's great to see tracks like this in World Cup racing again. Really technical, loads of line choices, and just, just not easy. No bike park. This is, this is proper downhill. So this is kind of the end of the steep section. And now things get flat, and it's a big 30 or 40 second pedal right near the end of the track. There goes the World Cup Series leader. It's a big long pedal down here to the finish and then you've got these massive spectacular jumps, a big hip, a big send off and right there is the finish arch. Well it's absolutely an amazing track here in Lusa. It's got a bit of everything, steep sections, fast flowing sections, loads of lines and of course this amazing loamy soil. It is definitely going to be a very fitting finale to this 2020 season and our first taste of who's going fast here is time training. Here it is. The track is really fun to ride, but I think it's going to be hard to race. So, yeah, we'll see <laughs> how it is. Really hard to do it fast, but pretty cool and real downhill, I think so. Exciting, exciting. Why are you disappointed now? <laughs> because I tried to do two full runs and I crashed in both. Oh. So I feel like I cannot really get it together. My focus is a bit f***ed, so I need to get it, find it. so dusty but like not particularly in a good way <laughs> no it is I think if we weren't trying to go as fast as possible but some of the corners have blown out and I think I probably went nearly went over the bars about eight times <laughs> but it is good fun it's pretty sick 
So we've got two races for you from here in Lusa, Portugal coming up this weekend. World Cup one is on Friday. The action starts at 12.30 Greenwich Mean Time with the women. The men come up shortly after that. And of course, Sunday, World Cup finals also live on Red Bull TV. Please join us to find out who will be crowned the king and queen of this year's World Cup series. We'll see you then.